The brain works like a big, incredible computer. It contains billions of nerve cells that are arranged in specific patterns that help it process different kinds of information received from the rest of the body. The arrangement of the nerves forms a complicated and incredible highway system that is able to coordinate thought, emotions, behavior, movement, and sensation. This highway of nerves provides a seamless communication pathway between the brain and the rest of the body. Today on Super Freaky Science, we'll be taking a look at the wondrous way of how the human brain works and whether it's classified as a quantum computer. How does the brain work? The human brain is a complex organ made of about 80 to 100 billion nerve cells called neurons and approximately 1 trillion supporting cells. With each neuron being connected to about a thousand more, there are well over 55 trillion neuron connections in the brain. These neurons are not haphazardly spread around the brain too. The arrangements come in specific arrangements with the brain such that the connections allow for communication at incredible speeds. In essence, the brain indeed works like a gigantic superpowered computer. Almost as quickly as it receives information from the senses and other parts of the body in the form of chemical and electrical signals, messages are sent via the nerves that span the entire body to the brain. Upon reaching the brain, the information is processed and a response is quickly formed. Sometimes the response that results from the received information may either be stored in the brain or relayed back to the body. In that case, the brain's response to the message it receives is then processed, packaged and sent down the spinal cord and across the stream of nerves that span the body. Every single feeling, emotion, thought and idea formed in the brain is carried out through this incredible system. The organ is almost like some sort of supercharged pinball machine with messages zipping in and out, up and down every single second. The brain never stops working. When you learn something new, be it a new skill, a new thought or idea, or store some new memories. The brain does something truly marvelous. Its structure changes. Messages are sent along the many neuronal pathways repeatedly to form new connections, such as the structure of specific parts of the brain's changes. This back and forth propulsion of information from the body to the brain and vice versa is achieved by the brain's use of chemical and electrical impulses to transmit information. This, of course, quickly reminds you of the work done inside a computer to computer, solve and process information. How does a quantum computer work? Quantum computers work in a marvelous manner, similar to how brains work. The concept itself is quite different from traditional computers in that quantum computers require actual thinking about problems in a non-intuitive way. Unlike classic computers, quantum computers do not make use of traditional bits for processing. Instead, they use quantum bits called qubits that can exist in an indeterminate state where their values are uncertain. This concept is described as superposition and when these quantum bits interact to carry out computational processes, the concept is known as entanglement. When a quantum computer is put to work, it is expected to be subjected to some strict conditions for the computing process to actually work. For example, a quantum computer has to be cooled to near absolute zero to make functional quantum bits. Even with the right conditions provided, quantum bits are quick to undergo decoherence, which is a term for describing the loss of their entanglement state. Hence, quantum computers work in such a quick fashion that they need to be programmed quickly enough that the qubits involved in the programming do not lose coherence before they can be measured. This then leads to anyone deeply invested in this study questioning how it is possible to uphold quantum mechanics in an organizationally chaotic interior of the brain and the human body as a whole. With all its warm, wet, ever dynamic and fluid-filled interiors, the human body would technically not be the ideal environment to put any quantum mechanics into actualization. In fact, the ability to maintain any effects of quantum
quantum mechanics whatsoever in the warm, wet, constantly changing brain should be impossible. The primary question that propels studies around this is, does the human brain obey quantum mechanics? Interestingly, the most basic and honest answer to that question is yes. The body, especially the brain, is ultimately obedient to chemistry and both classical and quantum physics. Several studies and theories have proposed that the brain emulates the inner workings of a quantum computer to some yet undefined extent. The brain itself experiences the superposition of several kinds of particles, as well as entanglement in its own biological way. Is the brain really a quantum computer? Imagine this scenario. You accidentally place your hand on a hot stove. In barely milliseconds, your pain receptors and thermoreceptors in that region of your body register the scorching sensation and send this alarming information to your brain. In response to this message, the brain processes what the receptors and nerves have discovered and responds accordingly, recognizing the sensation as a harmful and painful one. The brain orders your body to immediately move away from the hot stove. All of this happens happens in less than a second. Described as neural superposition, the brain undergoes a wiring principle. Several receptors from different parts of the body receive varying input and then relay the message in one common convergence point known as a synaptic unit in the brain. These varying inputs are then sorted simultaneously together. This process pathway theoretically follows the superposition observed in quantum particles when combined in all possible states. Neural entanglement describes the phenomenon in which a bunch of particles, in this case signals and impulses from receptors, interact closely in such a way that it becomes impossible to describe them individually and independently of other particles or signals. Entanglement is a feature in quantum mechanics that allows quantum bits to stay intertwined and superimposed even when they are far away from each other and not in direct contact. This concept of entanglement exists as the very bane of the computer process. This describes how the brain is able to arrange and combine various experiences, signals and perceptions from different sensory organs into one single memory. Some theories have sprung up in recent years, proposing that there are certain atoms, phosphorus atoms in particular, that act as biochemical qubits. The same way a quantum computer can arrive at multiple answers simultaneously and then combine those answers in several ways is the same way the human brain can perform the many peculiar functions that it does. The synonym of quantum bits in the brain has been hypothetically tagged as phosphorus atoms. With that theory in mind, it takes the connection of qubits to build an operating quantum computer. In many ways, the brain can be loosely referred to as a biological quantum computer. This term might not be strictly accurate as the devil ultimately lies in the details. Details that, nevertheless, neurophysicists and quantum physicists haven't been able to decide for just yet. Do you think that the brain works just as well as a quantum computer or even better? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any videos. Thanks for watching.